how you died, give you more idea about it. Like where, which direction you got killed, etc. We won't move the camera to all the way to the enemies, you know, where they are. But uh, we're just gonna uh, rotate the camera towards to it from where you are dead, pretty much. And then uh, what's he called? Then puts you back onto the what's he called? Uh, to the to the death screen, like the the, the one you're on the ground. You like, can look left. And additionally, we're gonna be adding a new but new something that. Um, there will be a button, and if you are holding that button, enemies around, sorry not enemies, the medics around you will be able to see, yeah, hey, you want to stay alive. Like, you are you are pushing yourself to stay alive, there will be, like, notification for medics around you, that they, so they can, like, okay, this guy actually doesn't want to give yeah. up, he wants to stay alive, so, uh, what do you call? Yeah, so you'll be able, able to, to actually rescue. call a medic to come help you. Pretty much, and then if if you press that button, that but give up give up bar will be slowed down, like so it will give up much slower. But yeah. holding it, it will pretty much call for a medic. Um, so in pro medics, you guys can actually now choose between who wants to stay alive or who doesn't want to stay alive now. And you guys don't have to be you know, your, just guessing. If you're helping your teammates, one of the most annoying things is when you're helping them that they die out. So now you'll actually be able to hold their revive. Um, when you're actually bandaging them now, just as a quick recap for you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, when when now uh, uh, someone is bandaging you, the the bar will stop, pretty much. But if the guy, if the if the medic uh, just gives up on the middle or they die, well, it will continue sadly. <laughs> All right, hmm. moving on. Getting close shot, not shot. Getting close shot. So the thing is, no, 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 no. It's not suppression. No, we don't like. I don't like suppression personally, really much. Uh, what's it called? We want to make it that when you get a close shot, we want you to feel it, but also at the same time, we don't yeah, want it near to miss. We don't want it to affect your gameplay. So this is what we came up with. By the way, the the sounds of the getting close shot are still work in progress. We haven't implemented them yet, them yet, but effects are done pretty much. So, the thing is, this is how it looks. And here, we are with me. It only happens, uh, there's like a, what do you call, the player gets used to it after the first one. So, if I would fire like this, the first one is the most intense one, which is not extreme by the way. Oops, I got shot myself. There so that's go. one hit right there. That's what the screen looks like when you get when you take a stray bullet like that. There you go. Okay. So the first one is the most intense one. It doesn't. There you go. You see? Yeah. Just gives you the sense that you're definitely being shot at. Makes yeah. you a little bit more aware. Like we said, we're still we still need to implement. Yeah, let me get LM. Yeah, we haven't done the sounds yet because the sounds we haven't found them multiple times, but each time they didn't sound right, great, sound buggy. So it's still working. Here. So someone's like firing at me. No, like they're not getting that. What you call? Um, they're not suppressing. It's just uh, pretty much giving, telling you, hey. There's someone, you know, actually firing at you now. There you go. That's it. The the camera a little bit more shakes a little bit, and then there's like a little bit of darkness, and then the the player actually flinches. Like the the weapon moves everything a little bit, but that's it. And then after that, it's just very small ones. So this is not suppression. We don't want suppression. This is just telling you, hey. Someone is about to hit your, you know, <laughs> hit you pretty much. All right, next thing. This is actually something more technical, but personally, I wanted to show you guys because it, it was a difficult technical challenge, and I personally would like to show you guys. So you guys remember that the sun, uh, what do you call? I'll save this for a second. I have to show the editor and an editor. That will be there. You go. All right. So, I'll take it. There we go. Okay. Um. You guys remember that we showcased the audio like a month ago. Like for example, um, let me actually go the audio all the way. There we go, perfect. Real quick, Oki, okay. um, those trails, 
that everybody was seeing right there. What is the minimum distance that you see those? Oh, I'm, my apologies. I forgot to actually mention about that. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my set. My bad. Yeah. I got way too much used to seeing them. I even Same. forget they weren't in the live version. <laughs> Same. That's why I was, yeah, I was reading so, through chat real quick because I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, so about the thing, normally we don't, like the, when the, the shots are nearby you, like if they are possibly can land around you, we give them a little trail that fades in a 0 0.5 seconds. So it's half a second. It fades out really fast. It's just emphasizing the direction that they came from. That's, that's all. They are not like sniper long. And if, if, there you go, you don't see them right now. Like they have to be close to, like the blood's supposed to be uh, landing close to you or the, the, it's, like imagine a sphere around the player. Like a, a, imaginary sphere around the player, like this. Yeah. It, if the, the people is passing in this, this if, if it's going to pass in the sphere, yeah, we do enable it and it's really fast face up. It just emphasize the direction of the bullet is coming from. That's, that's it. That's all. Right. Moving on. Uh, yeah, the sonar collision stuff. All right. So, on this one, I need actually. There you go. By the way, Sledgehammer sounds are not changed. We haven't got change of it in this, but the studio has given to us. So, uh, you guys remember that we had to sound change this, by the way. Uh, for like, when the player is actually like behind the wall. Like right now, sorry, there's like a path from here to here. It goes from here all the way, like here, and the sound, like, you know, plays different. So right now, I'm next to the guy. Uh, I'm next to the wall, but you don't really hear much. But when I get close to the. When I get close to the, what do you call, to the, uh, to the player, to the front door, it gets actually louder. But that was all the directions and stuff. The problem is we didn't had a, we we weren't supporting the the destruction yet. Well, we now we do. This is again technical accomplishment. I just want to show you guys because it looks cool and I like it very interesting and it's very well optimized at the same time. Thank you guys. So, um, to make this happen, we pretty much have voxels around the map that looks like this. That uh, each voxel presents an obstacle. Like for example, we ignore stairs. We, we use this. The, so, for example, uh, it's going to be lagged a little because this is a bit heavy to draw on screen. So, when we destroy something, we uh, pretty much. Sorry, not this one. This one. This one doesn't have it on the sounds. There we go. That one does. Now it's gone. The, the, the purple ones are recalculated voxels if there's any inside it, which is now the this area is in completely, what do you call, uh, what do you call, clear now. And then, for example, now if I move again, second, the sound is like quiet, you can almost hear it, but if I destroy it, this one. There you go. Yeah, so now it opened up. This opened up. As you can see, the voxels are gone there. And then now the sound is... There is no longer that, what do you call, um, that uh, muffle or the volume reducement, er everything. It's pretty much that. Uh, the one thing is, yes, you're going to think this is extremely expensive or something. Well, calculating all those, uh, the voxels are actually expensive in, in some way, but we are what we're doing is we are only calculating ten uh, voxels in a single frame, and then so like it's it's done in half seconds. Like just hundred voxels to be calculated, we do it on a half second on a, on a second. So this way, it doesn't feel like uh, what do you call? Suddenly your game freezes, and at the same time we optimize in a way that. It's regional, so if there's a destruction happening across the map, they are like holding a buffer. Imagine they're just holding it somewhere, but they're not calculated. The moment you get inside that region, we we start calculating them without without dropping your frame. 
just respectively. If you're getting if you're getting 120 FPS, now you're gonna get 118 FPS, and then in that three FPS, we are just using that, you know, time to to calculate these notes slowly. But it's not that slow. It's like instead of instant, maybe doing it at a uh, half yeah, yeah, second. Yeah. yeah. Much. That's the entire point. All right. A little extra resources so, going into the game. No freezes. It's still it's still accurate, and what do you call? Uh, it doesn't bother your CPU. It's optimal as well. The next thing is actually I'm pretty much that's all I will be showcasing today. Only thing I actually want to showcase is oh yeah, you changed my... yeah. This this looks so crazy. Just wanna sh I just want to end the, my side with this. Now tell me you don't like this. Come on, please, but no suppressor. Give it, give it a full. Uh, well, in a second, in a second. Oh, also, okay. How you show it? Uh, distance, uh, new distance audio. Like, when oh. somebody shows our distance, you have no new audio. I showed the audio, but I forget about the CTK, by the way. Um, but, okay. Um, there we go. Yeah, and then we took the fast version. It is going to blow your ears. Get ready. <laughs> By the way, that one was body shot, don't mind about that. Head shots are one shot, don't worry about that. Oh, it All right. So much better. Hey, it's crazy better, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like a real sniper rifle now. One thing I have to mention is the, the sounds, like, the, the, they sound like this only in your perspective we don't make them this loud and strong for other players they are they are still strong they are still great but it's not strong like this it's only for your own shells that you only hear yourself but well, yeah i mean because there's gonna be so many different sounds coming yeah very much uh we don't want to make a mess pretty much at the background yeah um that's pretty much all from my side guys Oh, can you shoot me M4, A1, at distance, like 300 meters? Sure, I can, but I have to, one second, yeah, I have to give me a second, I have to reload. <laughs> yeah, so basically, we're gonna have a new distance audio for... We showcased some Leoskis, by the way, a month ago. No, no. We did. Well, we did a month ago, but I think there were some changes, right? To what? No, we... we showcased, and I definitely remember we showcased, like, from... Uh, like five, three hundred meters, and then we get closer and fire it again. Remember Velasquez? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we yeah. did. I yeah, definitely that, remember. That we definitely did. Yeah, we definitely did that. I remember it. I remember running from A to C yeah, and then so showcasing. Well, really fast. Oh, wow. I can yeah, showcase yeah. it. There we go. Awesome. I'm getting with aim four. Well, actually, you can't hear too much, but. You know? No. It's no. very background. <laughs> Oh. Ah, the little ticks. Yeah. Yeah, it's it doesn't supposed to be that. I mean, loud over there. It's like you're far from each other. Just boost it a little bit for the stream. But that's also going to be between 254 players shooting, so you're just going to hear a bunch of cracks and whizzes cracks. and whatnot in the exactly. background like that. But, so it's yeah. gonna actually feel like you're on a battlefield yeah, and you or get, in a war zone. Yeah, you get rough estimations where currently the battle is going on. Because mm -hmm. there might be like drops where a lot yeah. of like sounds are coming from. So we want you to tell the direction of war, but we don't want to bother you with tons of gunshot at the same time. That's the goal that was the goal. So you can focus on what's happening around you, not but well, I don't know. 200 meters far from you. Well, they are actually sensitive to indoor outdoor, like indoor they're a bit quieter. You don't almost hear because it's pistol. It's there, but you have to pay attention right now. There you go. And if it's outside, it's a bit more uh, actually louder. Yeah. All right. Let's. This is all from my side, guys. That will be all. Thank you for watching no, and he listening. Oh, cool, cool. That's what that's what we were doing the past month. 
they're actually having what? more stuff, but they're mostly technical, getting the the build ready for. Yeah, the things you know, that everybody's like. A big thing. This is uh, this is boring. This is make any sense to me? It's all the, it's all yeah, like you said, the technical stuff that you know people kind of care about, but we just go on in ramblings and whatnot. But those really are the majority... shortly, actually, I want to explain why it's also taking time. Uh, we are preparing our uh, game a little bit to change transfer to a different audio engine Vwise, which is used by generally industry standard, you know, triple A games. Uh, we won't be what do you call? We won't be no longer working on audios. Mostly the studio will be working, but the studio is not working on Unity. They are working on Vwise, the industry standard version of it. Um, we we had to do a really big overhaul in audio in the battle bit, at, at least in this the technical way, to prepare for that uh, switch when the time comes. We haven't switched because that's going to take a while, but we made it ready right now. And additionally, because now we have imported so many sounds to the game, like now we have C4, each uh, surface has their own sound. Like, we didn't have any of them. We had to implement, and we have like three, four variations of it for e, like NC4, Grenade, or whatever. Well, not because the memory is is, is a bit more. Uh, we had to implement a way to what do you call it? make it that okay. If you have low memory, then we don't load all the we don't load all the sounds from disk. We only load half of it. For example, if you have really, really low it, low uh, memory then instead of loading all the sounds we only load the essential what do you call it? like for example if you have four variations of gunfire we only load one of it we don't load other three of them but, like stuff like that um simple small fun took, things took a good amount of time to get ready right pretty much additionally all right larry i'm leaving the stage to you i'm gonna grab a water really fast yeah there nice. you got Nice. Anything for us? Uh, ha 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 ha. Uh, uh, I do. Uh, uh, I do. We do. We do. Uh, what have you? What have you been working on, my man? Let me screen not this one. Uh, there we go. You're live. It should me. Should give us an, a nice view. Oh no! Tell me. So, it's been asked once or twice. Maybe three times uh, an SG550 rework. Um, it has happened. There's a new one now. You've done it. It's 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 been done. Uh, I did the integration earlier. I think Will, you already put it in the game. Am I right? We have seen something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we got a, We got a new SG. Kill the R. There we can easily go into this. Nice. That's that's everything I can show. Let's put it that way. I did some other stuff, some secret stuff. But uh, I will leave you all with a very nice new and remade SG550. What about a uh? <clears throat> what about an AK handguard? That's a good question. You, you're catching me in a good moment, <laughs> because I don't know if I actually did it in the meantime or not. Because I probably... Did I That's do it? That's for you, Goofy. That's for you, Goofy. I don't think I did do it. Let me actually... Yeah, let, and guard. Uh, can yeah, I threw a little into southern a draw on that, bro. Okay, wait, maybe let's go, not go in the folder and actually look it don't up. Don't go in the folder. Um... I'll just say yes that I did it, and I will check after the stream if I actually did it. I will just leave as is, and then um, then just have Goofy go Goofy. That's for again. you, Goofy. That's for you. I was waiting. I've been waiting. I told you. Even well, yet. Goofy, if you've got, he didn't forget. I've been reminding him trust. <laughs> Trust, bro. You brought it. I I wouldn't have brought it up either if you didn't show me any photos of it too. <laughs> so when you showed me, I was like, oh man, okay, that yeah, that looks kind of funny. <laughs> oh man. Well, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, 
if that's everything for you, I think Velasquez did have something real quick that he wanted to touch base on, which is a really, really cool feature. Yeah, I found think uh, all right, I'll share my screen. Like that. These are, these are, I loved this. I absolutely loved this. Oh, that's actually a new SG550. Oh, very nice. Yeah. All right. So, you go. You basically, um, we have some problem that we have so many maps. It's very difficult to make uh, for each map unique lighting that will, you know, be memorable and fit the map uh, style. And uh, because of that, we decide that now, instead of making static lighting per map, you will have dynamic lighting based on uh, random. So, for example, you can play same map over and over again, but you will you will play it under different lighting conditions. So, for example, uh, on the right side of my screen, you can see uh, on the right side of my screen you can see uh, a set of lighting for gay, and each lighting condition have own chance. Some of them will be more common, some of them will be less common, etc. For example, you use it to see that to do like that. But on next round, when you play gas to do, you might play it under that one lighting condition. So it will change a feeling of map. So you can play map like multiple this is so times. So freaking cool, dude. Yeah, and for example, one percent chance, as you can see here, weather eighty, like one percent you can have a rainy vigor. So essentially, what it is is dynamic lighting. So you're not going to be, even though you might be playing the same map now, you'll be playing on a different layer. So that's essentially what we're doing. It's just adding different weather layers to each map. And all these are going to have randomized chances. You might play on one that's rainy, you might play on one that's just overcast, you might play on one that's dusk or dawn, midday, but most all maps are going to have dynamic lighting, so they'll all feel and look a little more unique now. Um, and this is this is just visuals. These aren't... Yeah. Um, this won't... And it might be a different layer clarify. of the map, too, but... Yeah, uh, when we mean the dynamic, we can say that it's dynamic game like system where your time is changing, you know, while you're playing game now. It's just, uh, yeah, random lighting condition each time you load new map. Yep. So, yeah, just adds, a, just adds another nice visual layer to the game. And I mean, each map with different lighting elements, it, it just changes the gameplay of it. It will be hard to believe that you can guess to do. <laughs> these are most yes. of these that you're doing are daytime, or are they are you going to be implementing different uh, nighttime so we cycles? Have, uh, multiple presets for different uh, biomes. For example, on the uh, north part of Earth, like America, Europe, uh, we will have a set of like 20 light presets. And uh, we will have a set for night as well. And for uh, Norton, like places where you will see aurora light and snow. Okay. Et cetera. But yeah, we will have different presets for different con biome conditions where we may place it. So, do these wood night maps have to be chosen to get some of these layers, or are these all daytime layers? Uh, if you do choose night, night time, it will select random night layer. Oh, okay. So, these are daytime and nighttime layers. Yeah, because that one currently only gay, gay okay. and down. Like, it's a day right now. Like, I'm now going over all uh, condition, lighting condition that possible on gig map. You can see that move changing very well. So you can play same map over and over, and it will feel differently. Oh, it's so it's nice. common one lighting condition. That you will see, like, most of your time because of high percentage chance to drop. Yep. 
Angular culture will be more rare, but we need to tweak writing to make it more, you know, more friendly. Usually, if more like evening time, evening time, etc., or maybe a rain condition fog. Uh, no, the wally lighting. It, it, how dusty do you look like? Which wally lighting? <laughs> So just to recap, these these aren't dynamic changing times during the game. So like if you're playing a 20 minute game, it won't go from like day to night. This is just a different layer. So your time's not changing. You just get to see a different time of day during it. Yeah. So you might join into the game and suddenly Dusty Dew, it's raining. Yeah. And the next time you play Dusty yeah. Dew, it might be like the bright sunshine. Yeah, and for example, you, you remember uh, driver, yeah, my driver, it's like so red and so always red, foggy and rainy, but now it can be sunny very well, and uh, over time I will polish lighting to make, you know, to make better the best the lighting process that is uh, very pleasure to play on for everybody. Also, young Hiccup, yes, we do reply to chat. Which map will we like to see under different lighting condition? <laughs> I think we we will definitely. Oh, candy sunset, yeah, candy sunset. Everybody knows that it's always uh, brown and red. Oh, sorry, brown orange. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, give a second. Oh. Community service disable certain. Uh, will community servers be able to disable certain weather patterns? Like if they didn't want to play uh, rainy layers? Apparently no. Will that be a thing in the future, possibly? Currently, yeah. it's not available. However, we could do that in the future. However, right now, we don't have too much time left to the update. Yep. So probably yeah, after, that would be after the update. Terminal. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I will quickly show uh, another map under different lighting condition, and I'm gone. Community servers, can they turn off? Uh, everybody can turn off health bars. Uh, it'll be in your settings. So if you don't want to see the health bars of other players, you can go in your settings and turn them off. Same with the ambient occlusion. That'll be a setting that you can turn on and off as well. Can you make it a force option on community servers? I don't think so. And servers. Yeah, Force disable health bars. All right, so yeah, kind of sunset. All right, it's loading. So you use it to see standard sunset under gag lighting condition, but you won't see gag lighting condition anymore because the uh, uh, lighting condition was too, you know, feel like a filter, too much orange, too much brown, etc. Oh, yeah, this looks sick. Now, mostly you will see map on the lighting condition. I will now swap them. <laughs> now, feel like completely really different map, right? changes the map. Like, doesn't look at that, bro. It doesn't even look the same. Yeah, I love I love this change. I absolutely love this change. Ooh, yeah, you want to you want to show a non-rainy district? Uh, uh, can you rainy sun can the sunset? Oh, rainy sunny sunset. Oh, yo! <laughs> yeah, that... I love this. I absolutely love this. Not only does it, like, visually look excellent, 
but I think each map just having these layers, like I, I feel that they're just gonna play differently each time now. Oh, for sure. Add tornadoes. Yeah, no. and I can see movement. He <laughs> didn't touch. How about maybe Fable Rain? And I can see you still can parkour as before without any issue. The only yeah. Yeah, that that was a huge thing with the movement. Is we wanted to make sure that like you could still do the parkouring. It still like felt fluid and whatnot. And so far, none of us have been able to like it. It hasn't felt worse. Uh, it still feels really good to be able to like vault, jump around like this, all crazy like. Um, but yeah, it's just the whole fact that when you do a 180 now, there's just that quick hesitation when you turn around rather than it being instantaneously. So that's that's really, that's all the movement, I guess if you want to call it, changes are going to be. Just that more natural feel. But man, I, bro, I'm loving the way that this looks. Yeah, that looks, that just looks good. Yeah. And the fact that two new maps are coming out as well, like those are going to have these layers. Gorgeous. Yeah, well, that, every, like, everything that I want to show from my side for today and on his side, because uh, he helped a lot to make that system work. Right on. Right on. Well. I think that's, yeah, that's everything. Like, oh, yeah, that would be everything that we worked on this past month. Yep. That will be the old that we can showcase. Yeah, the rest of it is still being polished and or just the technical stuff that, well, it's just really boring to listen to, to be honest with you guys. Boring for you guys, but I find it interesting all the time. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Date. All right, then shall we end it? I think we can end it. So, yeah. Nobody else? Nobody? Nothing more? All right. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys joining for the day. We showcased. Uh, well, you guys are pleased with what you see. Your eyes are. Your eyes are excited. Your your hearts are excited. Soon the update. I know everybody still wants to know an ETA, all that stuff, but. It's soon. It's we're way closer than we're way closer than we've been. There's still some things that we need to work out, um, but we don't really don't want to give any false hope for anything right now. So we will inform you guys as, as soon as we know the date for sure. We'll definitely start teasing things, um, but we really just don't want to really just don't want to give any false hope any false promises right now so i know it's disappointing it's hard it's tough we want the update out just as much as everybody else trust us we're we're looking at the same things most every single day so we we want the update out just as much as everybody else so i know it's not fully the news that you guys wanted to hear but a lot of big exciting changes not just sounds doors and slight movement stuff as you can see so we got a lot of map changes coming uh a lot of UI changes, TTK changes, balancing changes, all that good stuff. The game's gonna feel it's gonna feel absolutely wild. Um, if you guys are watching from the Discord, or if you're in Twitch right now, we're gonna keep the event going for a little bit, and I'll answer some questions after we end the stream. So feel free to join in the Discord stage, um, and I'll answer any questions that we miss through this. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. Uh, next Devcast two weeks from now. Yes. The planned one, at least. Let's put it that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, uh, we may want to move that to a month again. Likely. Okay. Yeah. And we'll Likely. get into it. We'll keep, we'll keep the date as of is, but if we have to move it again, then we'll move it again. Copy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So. And always remember, again, we guys? Are now two weeks closer to the update than we have been two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I know, right. I understand, I understand, guys. You guys want the update out, but again, we we gave ETAs in the past. We couldn't reach them. We just don't. We just don't want to throw that kind of hope out there and just not just not meet it. So we want to make Until sure we that we are completely get sure it. about ETA. Yeah. Yep. We want to make sure that we can actually reach that that date that we give you and not make you wait any longer. That's what it's all about. So 
Well, like I said, we're really close. Again, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, next DevCast is in two weeks. And like I said, if you're in the Discord, watching from the Discord, will be I'll be there for a little bit, answering some questions that I may have overlooked here. So feel free to join us there. And uh, with that all being said, enjoy your guys' Saturday. Or yeah. Saturday. Uh, yeah. Remember, it's not about the games we win, but the friendships we made along the way. Exactly. And for those in the U.S., see you all in the game night later today. Yes, yes, game night for the U.S. side. Um, uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, I think is what it is. Yes. I can, I can tell you it's 3 a.m. my time, so. Yeah, it's at 8 p.m. today, so. We'll see you guys there, or we'll see you in the stage chat, we'll see you later on today, so. Yep. Again, guys, thank you, and. See you. And Twitch stream. Enjoy your Saturday. We'll yeah. drop you guys off at. I should keep the right scene so you guys actually hear me. I will drop you guys off at Granny's. Share some love. Get some cookies and some milk. Um, can I think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. You keep the Discord one open. Okay. Then uh, see right. you on the other side. Bye.